toxic and fear are definitely two words that I would associate with Ofsted inspections. And the toll they take is being likened to a mental health crisis for teachers. It used to make me feel, like, physically sick. I was absolutely petrified. Jane left the profession partly because of it. She describes a culture of fear. I had a really um, awful, awful inspection. After that, I, couldn't, I had a panic attack every time I needed even an informal observation in my teaching. And I just I couldn't do it anymore. A rising number are speaking out. After head teacher Ruth Perry took her own life following an inspection. I lost my little sister, Ruth, 15 weeks and six days ago. Her sister, addressing the union conference, urged reform. When three Ofsted inspectors pronounced on frankly flimsy grounds that Ruth's leadership and therefore her school were inadequate. The injustice of that one word judgment destroyed Ruth's career, her world and her sense of self. Ofsted defended the inspection, saying there's no reason to doubt it and have refused to drop one word assessments because they're easier for parents to understand. What the um, teaching profession and the unions and the head teachers in particular aren't saying is that they are very happy to boast about their Ofsted ratings on their websites and on the notice boards outside their schools, nor are they saying that 88% of schools are either rated good or outstanding. So if Ofsted has a fault, it is, is too generous and too kind. Parents at this fourth birthday party have just chosen primary schools for September relying on Ofsted reports. It's the only way that you can, as a first-time parent with your child going into a school, understand how the school is, um, what the reputation is and what their importances are. I think it does need some work and I think it needs looking at how, as how they can support the, the parents, the children and the staff. I think it needs to obviously continue to be updated and reviewed and make sure it's relevant and, and everything else. Um, but the whole principle of them, absolutely, um, I'm all for them. But most here also agree reform may be needed, a reflection on the pressure of inspections. Amid criticism, they offer merely a snapshot. Adele Robinson, Sky News.